Is it really possible to mind read with science? To control computers hooked up to a brain reading appliance? How do we link thoughts with tools, you want to know? So let's learn about the neural population code. When we take a peek inside your skull, we're in really, really noisy trouble. Electrical signals from each neuron we find communicate with other neurons to create our mind. Billions of neurons make electrical storms, and each neuron's electrical signal has different shapes and forms. How do we know which cells respond to a stimulus or thought? Let's record their electrical activities and give this a shot. Using electrodes, we listen to motor cortex cells, important for action. They fire when we plan, rehearse, or produce active locomotion. While some will be silent, many others will fire. This on or off pattern we can acquire as an easy way to compare their activities as a group. Here we identify if neurons are on or off, shown in yellow or blue. Now ask a friend to think, move hand to the left, and then let's record 25 of her motor cortex neurons again and again. To the left. To the left. To the left. To the left. Now we know when she thinks left what each neuron does. And then when she thinks move hand to the right, they go all a buzz and fire. To the right. To the right. To the right. To the right. And you have a code from her neurons, and it's quite a sight. Now we know her code for move left and move right. The firing activities of her neurons gave us this insight. Now tell your friend to silently think left or right. And what do you see? We can read her mind based on the group's past activation history. This code looks like the code for move left. Is that what she was thinking? Yep, you bet. Let's try that again. She thinks we record. What was she thinking? To the right. Yes, you scored. And you find that you've just read her mind. Now this might seem like just a cute parlor trick after eavesdropping on her brain to know what direction she will pick. But listening in on a neural population to know what neurons do in different situations is how we understand our brain's population code. And more than just guessing games can unfold, population codes help patients who suffered serious harm to control machines with their thoughts and move robotic arms. By mind reading like before? Yep. Hook your friend's brain up to an arm and put it to the test. We can record her cells again to figure out their firing pattern when she thinks different thoughts and tries to make different actions. Then we tell a computer to record as she thinks left, left, left. It translates her brain's code to move left into robotic deftness. And lo and behold, she can move a bot with a thought. Or a cursor or a wheelchair, there's the potential to do a lot. Studying neural population codes is a way to decode the brain so complex and interact with it through prosthetics and external objects. We can translate the votes of many neurons into one to control our bodies or computers. That's how it's done. So while we can't read minds directly without many clues, studying population codes can make some dreams come true. Up in each of our heads, we have many neural ciphers that link up the brain and the body whenever you or I think. While it's amazing what current knowledge of the brain has bestowed, we still have a lot to learn about neural population codes.